would automatically deploy. So that's another thing to watch for as long as you don't see that emergency chute come out in the first minutes of this jump. That's a very good sign. So the good signs would be no wild looking tumble or spin and no drogue chute suddenly coming out. So then, because that air is so thin, that's the point at which they expect that he will break through the sound barrier. Maybe 30 seconds after he drops off, he will gradually, at the, at, at the again and, and the beginning, he has no control at all, but toward, toward the 30 the second mark, valve, he begins uh, to get a little Felix. control and he'll try to put his head down. The door's not coming in. Uh, you, you, has, is the, put the dump valve all the way to the rear. Put the dump valve all the way to the rear. There it is. There's a world out there. <laughs> the door Roll has 25. opened. Roll the door open the and door has the opened. door stop, Felix. Incredible. Another milestone here. That capsule opening up as it would when they uh, reach their optimal uh, altitude there. Again, he's attempting. Felix... Baumgartner is attempting to be the first human to break the sound barrier when he jumps out of that capsule uh, with a parachute. You heard uh, Bob Hager, if you recall uh, his voice. He's a very recognizable voice, form formerly of NBC News. Uh, and there you're now seeing Felix Baumgartner get to the edge of that capsule for his descent. Item 29, Felix, release the seatbelt. Attaboy. That's good. Okay. Slide forward into the rest position. Go a little bit further forward so we can check your chute. Your shoot's okay, Felix. I say again, item 31, your shoot integrity is checked. Your parachutes are not deployed. Item 32, verify cutaway knife handle strap is attached and knife in proper position. Say Roger if it's so. Roger. Okay, chest pack faceplate heat is on. Make certain that's is on and you got a red light. This red light is on. Okay, uh, here we go. Item 34, disconnect chest pack umbilical. Okay, uh, do you read me, Felix, on the communications? Uh, Felix, give me a short count. Okay. Stow umbilical. Disconnect both oxygen supply hoses. Okay, are they disconnected? Give me a thumbs up if they're disconnected. I don't, they're still connected. Felix, disconnect the oxygen hose. Atta boy. All right, stand up on the exterior step. Keep your head down. Release the helmet tie-down strap. Start the cameras. And our guardian angel will take care of you. Goodness, extraordinary. 
I think everybody's heart is just beating so fast to see Felix Baumgartner make that incredible attempt now. We've uh, gone away from that live picture now. During his descent, 23 miles above Earth, he is free falling. He's already uh, the first human to go the highest of any human uh, in a manned balloon. And now, uh, after all those incredible checks and sweat hours put on by thousands of people. Uh, you saw him disconnecting his oxygen, uh, disconnecting the umbilical while in that capsule, and then making that descent to Earth. Uh, Chad Myers with me now. What an extraordinary moment. Mm -hmm. And how extraordinary, too, to hear Felix Baumgartner's words. The only ones that I could make out of the very beginning was that the whole world is watching. To have the wherewithal to do all the checks mm -hmm. and to still be able to communicate verbally what he's about to do as he is looking down at Earth. I, I, I really, I have nothing for that. I, I, I when I watched, Ugh. it almost felt like I was jumping as well. Yeah. It really brought it completely home as to what was happening to him and how far he went and, and uh, quickly how he became such a small dot. Here's the launch. We back you up to the launch. Mm -hmm. This was hours ago, almost three hours ago now. They filled the balloon. The balloon that literally once it started, you can't stop. They had, they had one more chance to do this before months and months of more planning and, and delays. So here they go. They fill it up. As it goes up into the sky, they take this crane. They drive the crane under the balloon so that the balloon would rise completely to the vertical and not at all drag along the ground. Cheers everywhere at this point in time. Chills at CNN as we watch this happen. There's his mother, Ava. She crying. This is the first time ever leaving Europe. Yeah. yeah. And she's Dad, seeing her too. son make this incredible attempt. But go ahead with the sequence of events. Well, he then obviously he goes up. And, it, and the up and the up took a very long time. Took longer than we really thought. Because many times he slowed to maybe only 100 feet per minute mm -hmm. going up. And as he was going up so slowly, we thought, boy, we hope there's enough helium in yeah. this balloon. Well, as it turns out, the atmosphere was very cold, not allowing the balloon to expand very much. And so that's why he was slowing down. And he kept and dumping... And that was kind of a hiccup that made yeah. people nervous. Made me, made me a little nervous. Yeah. But he kept dumping ballast. There was ballast in the balloon. Mm -hmm. So the more ballast he dumped out, the faster he went up. Finally stopped throwing out the ballast, 100,000 feet in the sky, mm -hmm. slowed down at about 125, finally stopped at 128,000 feet. And that's where that jump took place. Unbelievable. And you're looking at these graphics here showing, you know, what his descent might be like. And you kind of think, oh my gosh, crazy. But then you replace that word with courage when you hear the kind of dialogue that was taking place during that capsule, mm -hmm. the careful checks. They're looking out for one another, just as you would witness during any NASA flight that you've ever witnessed and this kind of family that comes together for this common goal, for the sake of science, uh, for the sake of, you know, human exploration. And in this case, this is not just an experiment. Uh, there is purpose here too, just as you would see with any NASA experiment. And you explained it so eloquently earlier, what they're hoping to gain from this. Can a person in space falling from a crippled aircraft, a, one, of those, one of those things that may take space tourists into the sky 10, 20 years from now, can those people survive? Mm -hmm. can, they, can there be an ejection seat at 62 miles high? Can this suit, can this pressurization, can this, this texture of the suit to make him free fall like this in a nose down position at greater than the speed of sound? and come out on the bottom, pull the chute at 5,000 feet, and float to the ground. We are not showing live pictures right now for a reason. We will show live pictures when Felix gets on the ground and starts to walk away. That's when we're going to come back to this, okay? So that's where we are now. Felix is about three and a half, four minutes into the free fall, and, and, and things, are, things are looking re really, really good, I, I have to admit. And how long do we think that free fall will last? What have they estimated, given He's it's done. been... He's done with the free fall. Really? He, has, he has pulled the first chute. Uh huh. Yeah. And we also heard uh, during Mission Control that conversation if for some reason he didn't have the wherewithal to pull that chute uh -huh. himself, there was an automatic Absolutely. Uh, parachute. Not a great safety measure, yeah. safety net. Sure. Not just the threat or the, 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 really the risk of him falling through space and breaking his suit. That was obviously one of the big risks. Mm -hmm. if, free, if at that speed, for some reason, he became into a spin. 
spinning around uncontrollably. Mm -hmm. At three and a half Gs, that blood would be pushed into his head mm -hmm. and pushed into his feet. The exact opposite problem that these fighter pilots have when they pull positive Gs and all the blood leaves their head. When you're spinning like this, there would be blood in your head. At three and a half Gs, a drogue shoot would have opened. Mm -hmm. That drogue shoot would be on his, on his foot to slow that rate of spin down to stop him literally from all the blood getting in his head and um, bad things happening. Okay, and right now, we're in more... delay, we are actually seeing that parachute, that descent of Felix Baumgartner. Are we gonna That's go to mother. it? There it is. We're seeing it right there. That was his mother wow. who's smiling there. Uh, fewer tears right now. She looks quite relieved. Her, uh, Mom Ava there, along with some of the other crew members, all those who have helped make this happen. But again, you're seeing that little cloudy picture of that parachute on the descent of skydiver Felix Baumgartner who has uh, left that capsule 23 miles above Earth and now in the atmosphere for all to see. Let's listen in to Mission Control. On his direction. 